In this video, I'm gonna show you the four steps I go through to find the best barber, and the same thing you guys can do too to find the best barber that's near you. Step one is to do a background check. And no, I don't mean to run the record and to see if they committed any crimes. But right now, I want you to go to Google, search your area, and then start looking for reviews. And I recommend you actually read the reviews. Because let's say you start looking at a barber shop that has five stars. You want to start looking for names. And look and see if there's any names that are mentioned the most. So if you keep seeing one or two names that keep popping up, then this is a very good sign that that barber knows what they're doing. And then the next step is to look at the booking system and some booking systems will let you leave a review internally and these reviews will be way more accurate than the reviews you'll find on Yelp or any other site like that. Because usually to leave a review on the booking system, you would have had to already go and see that barber that you left the review on, so these are gonna be way more accurate. Another way you can do a background check on your barber is to look through social media. Because if a barber is serious about being a barber, they will have a social media presence. So let's say I'm looking for a barber in Chicago. I'd go onto Instagram and type in Chicago barbers. I'd search for that and then a ton of barbers should pop up. And this is sort of just like a side note, but do not just walk into the barber shop. I mean, just think about it. If you are looking for a good barber, then that means they're probably busy most of the time. So that means if you just walk in without scheduling anything, you're not gonna have the best barber available. And going along with this, when you look into the booking system, look and find the barber that has the least availability. The reason why is because this probably means that they are top tier barber, or at least they're just very popular, so people like going to them. So that means you probably should too. Also, when you're looking at these barbers on social media, look and see what type of haircut their clients usually have. And try to find barbers that work with a similar haircut and hair type that you're looking for. Because they might be good with straight hair, but then when it comes to curly hair, they have no idea what to do, or vice versa. Step number two, super, super simple, check references. And it is super simple. All you have to do is find someone with a haircut you like, say, hey, I really like your haircut. Where did you get it? And 99% of the time, they will be flattered that you complimented them and they'll tell you where they got it from. The caveat to this is you do kind of have to have a similar hair type as them. But once you find someone that has your same hair type, it's super easy. Just ask them. Step number three is to Pay attention to what usually happens during your haircut. If the barber isn't paying any attention to you, or they're running behind on their appointments, or they're talking to other barbers more than they're talking to you, basically what I'm saying is maybe they are good at cutting your hair, but the customer service is awful. Guys, this is unacceptable. You need to have high standards when it comes to customer service. The barber should care about you, care about your hair, ask you questions. So the next time you get your hair cut, just kind of pay attention to what's going on. Is your barber just trying to rush through it? Or is he taking his time and making sure your hair looks its best? If the customer service is trash, get a new barber. Step number four is to find a good barber shop. Now, okay, if you're someone who is just super loyal to this one barber, you're too scared to go to anyone else, you're scared anyone else is gonna mess you up, hear me out. What happens when that person gets sick? Or if they just somehow can't make it to your appointment, but you have a huge event coming up and your hair just looks terrible and you need it cut. That is why you need to find a good barber shop first. Start with the barber shop first. I can't stress this enough. You wanna find a place that trains and pays their people well, because if they do, then you know you can trust anyone in that barber shop to give you a good cut. In every city, no matter how big or small, there are good barbers out there, you will find one. 